I want you to spend just three minutes on Heritage Day thinking of what you have in common with everyone else on this planet. Hey guys, this is Service Speaks. We're approaching the 24th of September, and those of you who don't know it, it's called Heritage Day. Now it's a day where a lot of people barbecue or braai, as they call it in South Africa. By the way, did you know that braai is a Dutch term originating from Holland? It's okay to braai, celebrate, have the occasional drink, just be with family and friends and celebrate one's heritage. But just imagine if you could celebrate your heritage in a way that actually speaks to celebrating the beauty of everyone else. So on this Heritage Day, I want you to think about a couple of things. But let me start off of what I really want you to think about. I want you to spend just three minutes on Heritage Day thinking of what you have in common with everyone else on this planet. Your friend, your neighbor, your fellow person living in the community, in your country and on your continent. Because when you do that, you're going to realize that in Heritage Day, we celebrate what is common amongst us as opposed to what is different. There's so much that society emphasizes that we are different. You know, these are all artificial constructs. Racism, race, color of one's skin is simply an artificial construct. Um, religion differences are artificial constructs. Cultural differences, language differences, gender differences, wealth, these are all artificial constructs. At the end of the day, we are all absolutely the same. Because after all, no matter who you are, no matter how successful you are, no matter what color you are, what religion, what language, you are going to die. And ultimately, we all say, share that fate, right? So why not, whilst you're alive, celebrate the differences, celebrate that which is common. But let me go back a little bit, because sometimes we need to look at where we've come from and our own journeys. Now, for those of you who don't know, modern humans or Homo sapiens kind of originated, depending upon, you know, which research comes from there, but between 250,000 to 150,000 years ago. What does that mean? Well, more or less, that is where they were found, where? In Africa. So all human beings, all modern human beings, originated from Africa. There is absolutely zero scientific doubt about that because today we can see from your DNA where the original Eve or the original paternal heritage was, okay? And all the DNA in the world shows every single person in the world has an African origin. The only question is which part of Africa? Was it East Africa? Was it just South Africa? And um, who was the original Eve uh, during that time? So this is a fact. So therefore, if you understand, going back, we're all the same. You know, we have the same origins. That tells you that we have a common genetic code and then we have a common humanity. Now, you may ask the question, but hold on. People in Europe look different to the people in Africa. People in China look different to the people in Africa. People in America and South America look different. Well, there's a reason for that. About 80,000 years ago, our four fathers and mothers decided to migrate out of Africa. And they migrated because we learned a few things. We learned about stone tools. We learned how to use, um, uh, you know, a little bit of language and all these kinds of things. And they went up firstly towards Europe. 
towards the Middle East. And from there, they went to what we today know as, as uh, South Asia and China. And some of them went across to via North America to Central and South America. So that's where humanity in fact spread out from. So why do we look different? Well, it's very simple, because at a certain point in time, you adjust to the climate. So when you live in Europe, it's a cold climate. And if you live in Africa, it's a hot climate. So you need more melanin to protect you from the heat. That's very important. Otherwise, you'll get cancers. So the genetic variation allows for that, if you like. So then why are the eyes different, you'd say, in China? Well, again, because at that time, the areas of China, was in fact very cold and so the epicanthic fold which creates narrow eyes is there to protect you from the harsh sunlight and so that genetic variation is what actually happened and caused the South the Asians in fact to have a different facial feature but at the end of the day if you look at the genetic code of the Eskimo the Chinese the African the American the Indian we're exactly the same because we originated from the same mother and the same paternal line on the African continent. So when we talk about heritage, the first thing is to understand that heritage, genetically, we are all the same. There is no difference between us, genetically. And we know that because if you have a disease, it's the same treatment, no matter where you come from. But let me just, on this heritage day, talk about my own experience. So I may not look like it, but the truth is that I have a very mixed heritage. On my paternal side, very much an Indian heritage. On my maternal side, believe it or not, a mixture of Greek, German, and Indian heritages. So I myself grew up in a very complex uh, sort of environment where one celebrated the diversity of being different. It was something else. One of the things that apartheid did in particular, and sometimes in societies it does, it creates a club of people that look alike, speak alike, have the same language, and I call them tribes. But not in tribes as you think about Zulus and Corsas and that kind of thing but tribes, because people tend to want to be with each other. And tribes tend to want to think the same. Tribes tend to want to act the same. And tribes shut out other people from their lives. And so the greatest gift which you can give to yourself, which is the gift that I gave to myself, and something that I'm really proud of for myself, is that I broke from the tribe. I refuse to be conditioned by the tribe. I refuse to be defined as an Indian, a person of mixed descent, a colored. I refuse to be defined necessarily by my language, by my culture, by my wealth, by my status, by my, you know, whatever. I refuse to do that. I define myself as an ordinary human being. And my definition of that is that you know, I'm no different from anyone else. And in so doing, one of the key things that you have to learn and teach yourself is not to have prejudice. One of the greatest gifts you can give to yourself is to live your life without prejudice. Do you know how beautiful it is to look at someone without prejudice? To not judge them by the language, by the color of their skin, by the way they speak, by the clothes they wear, by where they stay, or anything like that. But simply to look at them and say, you know what, this person has the potential to be absolutely beautiful. So how do I embrace that beauty, embrace that kindness, embrace that ability to be human? And I think that's what we all need to do. So if we just reset our minds, as I have done, and I'm so happy that I've been able to do that because it's a gift not to have prejudice. It's a gift to think that all of humanity is the same. It's a gift to come out of the tribe and to be able to say, I'm part of only one tribe, and that is 
the human tribe. So, there it is. On this Heritage Day, I wish you well and be brave. Be courageous, be human and just be.